What's up, Video Fort Nation? I'm Magic Bard, and we have a straightforward, straight to the point tutorial for you guys morphing logos. So I'm gonna get right into it. I wanna give a couple of shout outs to Football Mutants and The King Greninja. Greninja. Um, I hope I got that right. Love you guys. Appreciate the love. And if you guys are new to Video Forward, hit that subscribe button and hit the little bell icon right next to it. So that way you'll be notified every time we put out a new tutorial every single week. Now let's jump into this tutorial. Okay guys, so this is going to be a quick one, fairly straight to the point. Let's get started. First things first, let's create a composition. And I'll go with a 1080 by 1080 and we'll just call it our Morphin Logos. Press OK. <laughs> cool, 15 seconds long. Just make it as long as you'd like. And let's throw on a background, so layer new solid. And we'll make a gray layer background. And then, so the first thing you want to do is make sure your background is not selected. And click on that pen tool and just kind of draw a little line up there. And then what we're going to do is make sure you click down here, look at your content, shape one and the key to this whole effect is this right here your path and what we're going to be doing is keyframing the path to create our shapes so let's choose our first logo or shape which is going to be this person we have now what you want to do is create a um, outline of the person and you can use the pen tool but that may take a while and it won't be perfect but in After Effects, if you guys didn't know about this, this is a pretty cool trick. Go to Layer, Auto Trace, and After Effects will actually trace this layer for you. And if you press this Preview button, you can see a traced where it's going to trace the layer. So this works really well with PNG files. So make sure that this is selected, apply to a new layer, and then press OK. And then what we're going to do is have this new layer right here of the Auto Traced Person file. So we can delete that person file now because we no longer need that. And then we will open up this auto trace layer, open up the mask, and find that mask path. Okay, so let's select the mask path, command C to copy it, okay, or control C if you're on Windows. Then we can close this down. And then into this path, our shape layer path, command V, and now you have your person. Now that's pretty cool. Um, once you have that, you can delete this auto traced person file, or you can just shut off shut off the visibility if you want. But I'll just delete it to get things more organized here. So that's pretty cool. Now we have our person layer. Now what we're gonna want to do is maybe set it out for two seconds long. Just copy this keyframe, Command C or Control C, and then Command V or Control V to paste it right there. And then we've got a two second long person here. Now what we want to do is morph this person into a camera. So I'll take this PNG file of this camera that I have, press S to scale it down so I can actually see it in my frame. Cool, and then what we're going to do is do the same thing. So go into Layer, Auto Trace, Okay, make sure it's applied to a new layer and press OK. Now, on this one, as you noticed, I will um, close this camera down and actually delete the camera. You can see that we have five masks on this one. Now, you can morph the layer into all the different masks that you want, but for simplicity, all I really need is this pink mask the outline of the camera. So I'll delete the rest of these for now and then open up our pink mask, select the mask path, command C or control C and then go down here, bring our playhead out a few frames, maybe maybe 20 frames, that's how long the transition will be. Select the mask path or select the path one of our shape layer and then command V and now what you have is this morph into the camera. Now this is a pretty big camera and it's outside of our composition. We need it to be a little bit smaller. So how? So what we're going to do here is scale it down as it is morphing. Okay. So go into our transformation for shape 1 and then what we're going to use is the scale. So we'll set a keyframe at the end of our person layer. Okay. Keyframe that scale and then bring it out to the camera and then scale it down. 
to the size that you want it at. So maybe right here is fine. And now what? We, here, let me just delete this camera layer up here. So then we could see the morph of our person into our camera. Awesome. And that is basically how you guys do this effect. Very simple, straight to the point. Um, and you could really work with this. Now, if you guys want to, if you have a more complex um, image, let me show you how to do that one. So I'm going to stretch this keyframe out. Command C this, okay, and then Command V. So now we have a nice little second long camera. And then we're going to morph this into the thumbs up logo. Oops, where'd that go? Let me throw that bad boy on there again. The thumbs logo right there. And now this is going to be two pass, okay, when we auto trace this. So layer, auto trace, okay. And we have these two pass. So say you want your camera logo to morph into both of these. What we're going to do is let's just select our thumbs up and hand mask which is this pink one right here okay and we'll do the morphing here so command C on that mask path come down here and just bring it out a few and then select the path and command V okay so it turns into our thumb right there and actually what we're gonna wanna do is also um, scale this up so I'm going to copy this keyframe right here and paste it right under right before we transform and then as it's transforming we will turn up the scale to maybe 75 percent okay now we need our wrist the wrist so what we can do here is let's just close down this transformation close down the path and we will duplicate this shape layer okay so command D and then this shape layer will be the wrist so let's open that guy up open the path and let's open the transformation as well and what we're going to do is delete all these other keyframes back here so just these ones so the only keyframes that we have is the camera turning into the hand and this time we're gonna have the camera turn into the wrist so bring your playhead right above the hand keyframe which is right here take that wrist mask which is this purple one okay and I'll select that just to show you you can see it's I think it's like a dark gray or purple um, select the mask path command C come down here go to our shape 2 path and then command V okay and there's the wrist right there so now let's delete this so we can get it out of the way for now and we will delete the thumbs up as well and show you kind of what's happening here so we have the camera turning into our wrist and hand but the camera is always there which is kind of annoying so what we want to do is turn down the opacity for the camera and turn it back on when we need it so right here we're gonna turn the opacity key we're gonna hit that keyframe okay right above right before the transformation happens hit that keyframe and bring it to zero okay and then drop it down a frame or forward a frame so one frame and then bring it to 100 and now let's see that transition happen cool and then we can see the other going back to the head and boom guys we are done press N show you the preview and this is what we've created our morphing logos from a person to a camera to a thumbs up and now you can add effects to your shape layer um, whatever it is you want to do you can really add to it so Another thing you can do really quickly before we end this one off is maybe you don't want white and you want your you want your uh, person to be maybe red, right? Um, so with that selected, go to our shape one because that's where our person is. Go to our fill and what we will do is keyframe the fill color okay so I'll set a keyframe there and I'll drag this out because we want the camera to be white so right when the camera changes it'll be white but we want our person to be red so now what you have is a morphing logo of a red person into a white camera 
and then you guys can change that you know I'll, I'll command command C command V this so that the camera is always white and then when the camera turns into a thumbs up we want it to be blue okay and then of course you will change the color of the wrist as well which is shape 2 right so go into our shape 2 our fill set a keyframe for that white and bring that over here oops click it and drag it over to the starting point and then change the color to blue then what you've got is your camera turning into a blue thumbs up and now you've got not only some morphing logos but morphing logos with color changes very cool we're done easy effect straight to the point have some fun alright guys I hope that tutorial helped you out and it improves your visual effects editing skills if it did leave us a like and let us know in the comments section if there's any visual effects you guys would like to learn and we'll try to address them as soon as possible with that being said this is video 4 on Magic Bard and I'll see you guys on the next one.